Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us on Morning Markets. Over the past couple of days, we've been discussing the volatility that has been very evident in the UK bond market, and in particular, the sovereign bond market, or gilt market, as we, we often describe it. That volatility has come about as a result of the, the fiscal announcements from the, the government last Friday. And what we have seen and what the team have discussed in recent days is just the selling pressure that we've seen in UK government gilts and the yields consistently moving out. The yield movement was very much evident in the, the longer dated um, issuance, that of 30 years and beyond, and that was really presenting a challenge um, for asset markets. But it also was presenting a, a challenge for the Bank of England. The Bank of England has a dual mandate, that to maintain uh, price stability, but also to maintain the stability of the financial system. And what we were seeing yesterday in particular, prior to the Bank of England intervening, was a disorderly market in the, the longer dated gilt market. And that disorderly market was coming about by a number of factors, but primarily those pension funds, defined benefit pension funds, final salary pension funds, that have to match their assets and liabilities. The assets of those, those funds typically involve and do utilise a large proportion of gilts, particularly longer dated gilts, and in some instances they also use derivative instruments attached to that. Over the course of yesterday morning, we were seeing significant selling pressure in that longer dated gilt, and really we weren't seeing any buyers on the other side. So we were seeing just a movement out in price. That really then forced the, the, the Bank of England to take action and to come in to say, well, that's not the way we would like that market to function, and to aid the market to function in a more uh, normal manner. In terms of what they have announced, the Bank of England have provided um, support to longer dated gilts, buying £5 billion worth on a daily basis. That started yesterday and goes through until the, the 14th of October. They've also announced that the quantitative tightening programme, the selling of the gilts that had been purchased as part of the, the QE COVID support programmes, wouldn't commence next Monday. That would be pushed out until the end of, of October. The action that we saw from the bank had really the, the positive dynamic that they were wanting to engender. We saw yields come in quite significantly, particularly if we look out at the longer end, where at the 30-year we'd moved out to 5%. At the end of yesterday, we closed around 4% or slightly below 4 So very significant moves. And really, that's, that's one of the key points here. What I want to, to really highlight is the moves that we saw at the beginning of the week, the moves that we saw yesterday, very much historical in, in context. We have in very rare, very few occasions have ever seen movements like that in the sovereign bond market. That also then played through into other asset markets yesterday. We saw a slightly better day in, in equity markets as a result. When we look at markets today, um, I think what we can say is that the, the bank have provided some evidence of their willingness to step in and support markets in, in, in disorderly conditions. Really, the, the other side of it is that this is just a, a, an initial measure. We will probably need to see other measures over the coming weeks as well. Part of that is certainly aligned to what we will hear from the government around that fiscal package that was announced last Friday. There's a lot more th that we could talk about, so please do watch out for Morning Markets tomorrow and also our Do More With Your Money show, which will be also out tomorrow. Many thanks. If you're interested in taking your investing to the next level or would like to know more about the options available to you when you retire, then download our free guides to ICES and pensions. These are available in the video description below.